How's it going guys? My name is Ishan and in this video we're going to be talking about a tech stock that could make you rich. And by the way, congrats to whoever bought the Dynatrace call out. We called it a couple days ago and I made a full DCF model telling you guys how it could hit $52. And well, after a stellar blowout quarter, the stock has actually hit 52 literally a couple days after I recommended it. So congrats to anyone who bought the call out. So again, the stock we're going to be covering today is a company with real fundamentals and real potential with a lot of upside. So if you appreciate these short and value-packed videos, make sure to drop a quick sub and let's clock in. So the stock that we're going to be talking about today is good old Elastic NV. This is a stock I've been calling since it was at $80 a share. And after its recent dip, I believe it's still massively undervalued, especially after recent news that came out, which we're going to be covering in this video. And by the way, I'll just stay till the end because I'm going to do a quick technical analysis for Elastic NV, identifying the key areas that you could be buying at to profit the most. So Elastic has a few products, all which revolve around search engines. Their main product is their Elk Stack, which is a game-changing open source tool. Elk stands for Elastic Search, Logstash, and Kibana. So Logstash collects and transforms the data. Elastic Search allows you to search through all that data easily. And Kibana is a tool that allows you to visualize that data by creating all these cool looking charts. So this is a super powerful tool because if you think about it, companies have thousands upon thousands of logs and all this data and so they need to go through it somehow and by doing it manually or creating their own tools takes a lot of time and a lot of money and so that's the gap that Elastic fills. So now let's talk about the breaking news that broke out last week and what that really means for Elastic. So essentially Elastic's platform is an open source platform, meaning anyone can use it. Essentially what open source software is, is that it's software that anyone can modify, enhance and inspect. And the way that Elastic makes money is by selling professional services, similar to let's say a Red Hat who sells professional services for their platform. And then they also offer professional training so that companies can train their employees on how to use Elastic and even any regular person like you and me can learn how to use the software. Now essentially what's going on is that Elastic has partnered with Microsoft's Azure and Google's cloud platform to offer their service on their cloud. However, that hasn't happened with Amazon's AWS. Amazon launched their service in 2015 based on Elasticsearch and called it Amazon Elasticsearch Service. And so this has been driving confusion with users thinking that Amazon Elasticsearch Service is actually a service provided jointly with Elastic with its blessing and collaboration, but that is actually not the case. So Elastic has considered this to be a trademark violation, and instead of chasing litigation, they decided to follow MongoDB in changing their license type from Apache 2.0 license source code to server-side public license or SSPL and the Elastic license. I know this sounds complicated, but it basically means that if any company or any cloud providers that say like Amazon wants to offer Elasticsearch as a service, they have to offer it under the new SSPL, meaning that they also have to open source their own cloud infrastructure. And so while most of AWS's software is already open source, it's unlikely that Amazon would actually open source the rest of it. So that's why the stock initially dipped because there was a lack of understanding on the implications of this license change because many people thought that businesses could now see their cloud computing costs increase because of this new license change. However, this is again similar to what MongoDB did a few years back and their business is still doing really well. In fact, I called out MongoDB a screaming by when I was at 220 and now the stock is at 400. So if you haven't already, make sure you've subscribed. With that being said, I believe Elastic won't be impacted by the change as there's potential that many companies using Elastic through Amazon simply bypass Amazon and go straight to Elastic and other cloud providers. So this is a great opportunity to buy the stock on the dip that has so many big enterprise customers like Walmart, Live Nation and Pfizer. 
Diving into the financials, last quarter revenue grew by 43% and overall they've been growing each quarter by around 50% which is amazing. Analysts expect them to grow around 26% next year but I believe it will easily be well above 30%. Companies like Splunk and all are really struggling, their services are much more expensive and not as great as Elastic and so that should definitely boost their top line. Their SaaS revenue also grew by 81% which is just monstrous and their net expansion rate was greater than 130% and that means that customers are now spending 30% more than they did a year ago. This is a really important metric that really goes to show the power of their platform and their ability to increase revenue per customer. So taking a look at the technicals, we can see that Elastic has been in this uptrend range for quite some time now. We can see we're forming higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows, and we're continuously moving up. And so on this recent pullback, we pulled back to that very same trend line right over there and we bounced, which is a pretty bullish signal. And so if you're looking to buy, it's a perfect opportunity to take an initial position right over here if you want you can wait for a potential pullback down to 156 but you know the market's kind of uncertain right now we might continue pushing higher and you miss the opportunity because it seems like elastic will continue pushing all the way up to this trend line and hit 180 in an all-time high as for right now we got a little resistance in this area at about this 160 dollar level it's currently whole it's currently broken above that resistance if you see the stock is actually broken Broken above that 160 dollar 160 resistance and turned it into support and bounce so that's a pretty bullish sign and i really think the stock could head up all the way back to 180. with that being said make sure you like and subscribe and check out the gen z trader academy if you want to learn something new like technical analysis and get access to five plus hours of no fluff training videos this will really help elevate your trading especially with technical analysis that can really allow you to identify the best areas to buy and increase the profitability on your trades and also let me know down below what you think about elastic envy do you plan to buy do all that good stuff and i'll see you guys next time take it easy clocking out for now peace